Hello there. Today we are going to create together a super effect in which the header logo shrinks as the user scrolls down and then stays in a fixed position on a white background. When the user scrolls up to the top of the page, it returns to its normal size and the background becomes transparent. This effect is already available in the Quickly Cloud Design Library in the Blanc template. But this tutorial should help you understand how to create it for yourself. We have already set up a page with a header. The header is a section to which we have added a white background containing a div for the hamburger menu, a div that contains the logo that will shrink on scrolling, and a button. You may wonder why we are setting a default white background rather than a transparent one. But this is so that if a user arrives in the middle of the page, the header will always be white. The rules we set for the top of the page will ensure that the header is transparent only at the top or when the user scrolls to the top. Open the Design tab, the Layout tab and then the Position tab and make sure that the header's position is set to Fixed and zero pixels from the top, so that the header stays at the top of the viewport when the user scrolls up and down. Since we want the header to stay in front of all the other elements when scrolling, in the Visual tab of the Layout tab, make sure to set a high Z-index. We will be concentrating on the header that contains the div with the logo we want to shrink. To create the effect, we are going to add some relative styles to the header section. But first, we need to set up our scrolling effect. Open the Advanced tab and then the Scrolling tab. Open Scroll Direction and make sure to toggle Active On. We want the header background to become transparent when the scroll bar is at the top of the page, so we need to get the class to do this. Open the Selectors modal, where you will find all the Scroll Direction classes. Copy the class for when the scroll bar is at the top CC scroll D top. Now, with the header selected, in the Design tab, open the Relative Styling tab. Click the plus sign to add a new style. Open the Rules and rename the style Transparent Background. Leave Combinator at Same Set, set Type to Class and paste the class that we copied earlier as Selector. We now need to edit the relative style we have set up. Click Transparent Background and in the Background tab, set Background Color to Transparent. Now, let's set up the Logo Shrink effect. By default, we will set up the logo at its shrunk size, as it will return to its normal size at the top of the page. So let's set up the default or shrunk size by selecting the Logo Div and opening the Design tab and the Transforms tab. Toggle Scale On. Set X and Y to 0.8. Now, let's add the relative style which will make the logo return to its normal size when the scroll bar is at the top of the page. Let's duplicate the transparent background style as the logo normal style will have similar rules. Select the header and open the relative styling tab. Click the copy icon and then click paste relative style. Paste in the copied style using the keyboard shortcut. Click the Rules icon. Rename the new style Logo Normal. Now let's add the rule for the Back to Normal effect so that the styling will only be applied to the target, in this case the Logo Div, when the scroll bar is at the top. Click the Rules After Block class plus icon. Set Combinator to Descendant. Set Type to Class. For the selector, we need to get the class for the logo div, so right-click on the logo div in the navigator and copy the class name. Paste in as selector. Now we need to edit the logo normal effect, so click on the logo normal style. Let's remove the styles of the transparent background by clicking the reset dot. Open the transforms tab. We want to set the normal size for the logo, so let's set X and Y to 1. Now, let's see how it looks on the front end. You can see that when we access the page, the white background appears before being replaced by the transparent background. To optimize the user experience, we want the header to remain transparent by default, since users typically access pages from the top. To achieve this, 
we will apply the CC Scroll D Top class to the header section as a virtual class. To do this, click the virtual classes icon and type in CC Scroll D Top. Now let's set up our transitions for a smooth effect. Let's open the Effects tab and then the Transitions tab. Let's set a duration of 0.4 and a delay of 0.2 seconds. In the same way, select the Logo Div and in the Transitions tab set a duration of 0.4 and a delay of 0.2 seconds. Now save your design and check it out on the front end. Thanks for watching.